it's uh, Saturday morning. Um, I actually, my last drive I, or ride I took last night was uh, at 1.30 in the morning, and I took a gentleman uh, from the southeast side of Grand Rapids, and I had to take him all the way, way out in the rock. Nice ride to end the night. Only trouble would have been nice if I would have had a drive ride, come back, but I was beat, I was tired, I worked a lot. So then I got up this morning, and uh, first ping I got on ride local was uh, 6 a.m. Pretty good ride. Uh, took a guy to work, uh, actually a record rider that I think I've probably uh, given him a ride maybe four or five times. Well now, right now, I'm, then it's uh, like 8.30 or something like that right now, and i got another one. So I'm not really on the clock, but because I'm trying to build my rider base on the ride light local platform, Obviously, I'm, I have my app on all the time because uh, I don't want any rider to request a ride and then maybe our drivers are too busy or they're all full up and taking rides. Uh, that way I can at least satisfy maybe some of those over calls uh, that we get being more than the drivers we have on the road. But that's okay because that's how you build it and that's how you maintain leanness in order to be profitable. Really, that's what it's about. For us to ride local and be profitable from day one. Obviously, we had our investment, our capital investment, the app build, and all that. But really, uh, from the time we started making sales, from that time on, we just had profitability. Uh, and that's really what we really talk about all the time. You know, anytime I get with the drivers, well, one thing I'm stressing all the time is profitability, right? How can I maximize my rides by getting closer together, especially on the ride local platform? Because the closer I can get it together, then I'm getting uh, fifty, sixty dollars an hour in, in uh, fares. That's good money. I mean, that's really decent money. Then it makes me feel like getting out and doing it. Uh, but that's what I'm building right now. I'm building the platform, actually one rider at a time. In order for us to game it and stuff, we're a little bit different. We just don't throw a bunch of drivers on the road and then expect uh, everything to just pan out. What we want to do is control what we put on. So how do we do that is we try to obtain drivers that live in a certain area. And I'll give you an example. We look for drivers in the Northeast area. We look for drivers in the Southwest. We look for drivers in Granville. We look for drivers in certain locations. That way, they're servicing really the, the small community that they live in. They're also servicing outside that with their primary responsibility or their allegiances to that small community. And that way the riders, when they request a ride in that area, like in the northeast side or in Granville, let's say for example, you get a rider request, the driver who lives in that area, uh, if they have the app on, obviously they're gonna get the request. So the whole idea is to reduce the amount of time it takes from it gets to, uh, from the time a rider request a ride to the time the driver uh, responds to it. So we're trying to minimize that gap or reduce that gap so we can uh, uh, have better service for the rider when they request it. Because uh, the perfect scenario would be a rider request and then within uh, minutes a driver's there. So to have drivers as close as we can to the riders that request, if we do it and we segment it within uh, certain areas of the town, then we can control how many drivers we put in that area to service the riders when they do the request, but the same token, we'll know where we need, where we're weak at, and where we need to put more in. Because we're always probably going to run where we have drivers on call. So we have uh, like an overage of drivers on call in order to uh, satisfy the, the amount of rides that come in at certain periods of time. So if we get a lot of rides that come in, Drivers are all busy and they're taking all the rides. Then our overage drivers, the ones that are on call, the ones that are take the ones that come in. And it does happen. It's not a lot. There's sometimes where it's anywhere, it ranges anywhere from four to maybe 12 additional calls that we can't handle due to the lack of the drivers we have on the road. But right now we're trying to promote more drivers in a certain area and we're looking like northeast area. Another good area would be out by the campus in Grand Valley State College because uh, we do get a lot of requests out there and that way we're not pulling drivers out there to stay. Drivers are literally living their area in the area and they're 
supporting and servicing the area in which they live. So that's really what it's about. It's about community. It's about bringing it down, um, giving the driver to make maximum amount of profitability, making sure they're busy on the platform, and uh, do what we can to uh, maximize their profitability and minimize actually the time they pick up rides because really that's what it's about if i can uh, drop that time down the driver's gonna be more profitable as well